A team of researchers, including Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, may have just found a trace of an interstellar object in the ocean, which Loeb believes could have alien origin. The world is truly amazing. Even in this day and age, it is rife with undiscovered gems like whole subterranean cities, as well as some incredibly harsh, lonely terrain that we still haven't managed to conquer. Antarctica has captivated our minds for ages, from the daring scientists of today to the legendary first explorers of the 1800s, we have been enthralled by the mysteries hidden in Antarctica's frozen wastes. Antarctica is a realm of extremes and mystery, the last uncharted wilderness on Earth that is also very good at preserving secrets. The ice-covered continent is roughly 1.5 times the size of the United States and accounts for 90% of the world's ice. Scientists have continued, despite this, finding strange phenomena and horrifying animals. Join us as we reveal the terrifying discovery made by Russian scientists in Antarctica and set off on a voyage of exploration. Fifteen subterranean lakes. Several subsurface lakes have been discovered in Antarctica, which seems impossible given the continent's heavy ice cover. Radar surveys in the 1970s revealed previously unknown locations, some of which included an estimated 400 lakes covered by about two miles of ice. The lakes are thought to have originated after Antarctica broke away from the ancient supercontinent Gondwana land. The weight of the ice sheet prevents freezing in the lakes. The environment of Deep Lake in East Antarctica is quite unique. Its waters are as salty as those of the Dead Sea, and the high salt content even keeps them from freezing. There are a lot of threats to the sentient beings who call that place home. For instance, penguins shouldn't swim in this lake because it's considerably colder than the ocean and can kill them. The only organisms that can survive in such a frigid setting are the microscopic ones. In 2012, Russian researchers bore through over two miles of ice to reach an unusual substance hidden beneath Antarctica's icy surface. The largest subglacial lake on the continent is Lake Vostok, which doesn't make much sense. The researchers who took samples from the water even detected extraterrestrial life, which is just plain odd. Due to its isolation for millions of years, Lake Vostok has a bacterium that is genetically unrelated to any known bacteria on Earth. It's like the opening scene of a horror film about the release of a plague, but skeptics said the samples were contaminated by drilling fluids. In 2015, the same crew returned to the site to drill again, but this time the scientific community still wasn't convinced, perhaps because they hadn't released a plague. They discovered yet another strange microbe that seemed like it came from another planet. A second lake, as remote and with the potential to sustain life forms unlike anything on Earth, was announced to exist beneath the Antarctic ice sheet in 2016. This is a bad way to begin something worthwhile. 14. Blood Falls, Taylor Glacier in McMurdo. Dry Valley produces a vibrant red five-story cascade that empties into Lake Bonnie, like blood spurting from a broken ice vessel. Beginning around the turn of the last century, this red liquid flow in the midst of the Snow Kingdom has baffled experts. The Blood Waterfall was initially uncovered in 1911 by an Australian geologist, who also launched the hunt to explain its name. But now, scientists know what's behind this strange occurrence. Once a saline lake, the water that supplies blood falls is now sealed off from the atmosphere by a thick layer of glaciers. The water is three times as salty as salt water, has been stored for 1,300 feet below ground, and will not freeze because of its high salinity. While the ocean is full of iron, it lacks oxygen and sunlight. Iron in the water oxidizes and rusts as it comes into touch with the air, turning the water a deep red color as it seeps through a crack in the glacier. The water's tint was eventually traced to an underground lake containing oxidized iron not far from the waterfalls. Issue resolved. Only by helicopter or cruise ship can you get to this strange spot in the Ross Sea. 13. Unusual Creatures Antarctica is a frozen wasteland where rain is rare, winds are strong, and temperatures can reach minus 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet it is also home to a wide variety of rare and exotic plant and animal species, 
a number of bizarre creatures that have adapted to the extreme conditions found beneath the vast ice sheets have surprised scientists. Microbes, crustaceans, enormous squid, spiders the size of dinner plates, and massive worms with golden bristles and huge sharp-toothed jaws are just some of the creatures that inhabit the universe. Even transparent ice fish exist. Their translucent skin reveals their interior organs, and their eyes are enormous. Fish with antifreeze glycoproteins die in warmer temperatures. They also lack the protein hemoglobin, which gives our blood its characteristic red color. 12. Prehistoric fossils and tropical forests. Once upon a time, Antarctica was a warm and rainy place. Antarctica is a very old continent that, through millions of years, has changed immensely. Antarctica was formerly a balmy place with rainforests and possibly even civilizations before it became a frozen desert after the Ice Age. Fossilized wood, evidence of tropical trees, and preserved leaf impressions support the idea that there were once extensive rainforests in Antarctica. Fossils of Cretaceous-era marine life, birds, and dinosaurs have also been discovered in large numbers. Four wings of a beetle that lived between 14 and 20 million years ago in a warmer temperature have been found fossilized, and tiny single-celled fossils have been a huge subject of controversy among experts. An astounding discovery that scientists are hoping may yield fresh evolutionary insights is the discovery of sperm cells in the egg case of a worm species that went extinct 50 million years ago. 11. Range of the Gambertsev You might believe Antarctica is extremely cold, dull, and, most importantly, flat due to the ice sheets that cover most of the continent. But there are mountains hiding beneath all that dull ice. Underneath Antarctica's immense ice sheets is a gigantic mountain range, among other mysteries. The Gambertsev Mountains are covered by an ice sheet that is two to 4,000 kilometers thick. Over a distance of 750 miles, you can find peaks that are over 10,000 feet in elevation. For well over half a century, researchers have been aware of the Gambertsev Mountains. After their discovery by Russian explorers in 1958, the mountains were given their current name in honor of Soviet geophysicist Grigory A. Gambertsev. While exploring Antarctica, the scientists came upon a patch of thin ice and recorded unusual gravity changes which illuminated the astounding phenomenon below. Although humans have never seen the mountains in person, scientists have been able to map their topography with radar and investigate their subterranean structure with the help of gravitational and magnetic readings. They claim the range resembles the Alps, and magnetic anomalies indicate that the peaks were likely heaved up from billion-year-old granite between 250 and 100 million years ago. That time period is significant because it was during the reign of the dinosaurs, and it gives us reason to believe that the world still has wonderful surprises in store for us. The Gambertsev's formation and continued existence have long perplexed scientists. The mountains are estimated to be over a billion years old, so they should have been eroded away by now. There are several hypotheses as to why they have not been eroded away, but one popular one is that they are protected from the elements by a frozen mantle. 10. Ice that sings. In Antarctica, a huge chunk of ice is making beautiful music. When it comes to Antarctic ice shelves, the Ross Ice Shelf takes the cake. It extends over a region of nearly half a million square kilometers, which is roughly the size of France, and is several hundred feet thick. Researchers have found that the winds flowing across the snow dunes on the Ross Ice Shelf create an unsettling tune. Surface vibrations and near-constant seismic tones are produced by the winds. Human ears can't pick up the vibrations, so scientists employ seismic sensors to listen to the sad music. After installing seismic sensors on the ice shelf to study other behaviors, scientists accidentally uncovered the song. Scientists have recently learned that the music adapts to weather and climate changes like snow melting and storms rearranging the landscape. They are currently employing the song to track the ice shelf's stability and susceptibility to collapse in real time by listening to the seismic humming. 9. The Enormous Gap In 2017, 
Antarctica experienced the opening of a chasm the size of Ireland. The hole is not unprecedented. Nonetheless, it is the largest polynia observed since the 1970s and the first to open in 40 years, at a span of 30,116 square miles. Deeper, warmer, and saltier water in the Weddell Sea in the Southern Ocean is responsible for the formation of the polynia. This occurs when ocean currents carry warm water to the surface, causing the top layer of ice to melt. The Antarctic atmosphere dips and cools when it comes into contact with the surface water, only to heat up and rise again. There is some speculation among scientists that marine mammals use the polynias as breathing holes. Scientists are still trying to fathom the effects of these enormous, enigmatic holes. 8. Ascent of Erebus Several volcanoes may be found in Antarctica, despite the icy climate. Ross Island is home to four volcanoes, all of which are dormant with the exception of Mount Erebus, whose volcanic activity has intensified over the past 30 years. Mount Erebus is an incredible natural phenomenon, bubbling over the past 1.3 million years with magma and lava lakes. It is the tallest active volcano in the world at 12,467 feet and the second highest in Antarctica. Mount Erebus is too far away and has too much risky weather for scientists to visit very often, but in 2013, a team of scientists succeeded in ascending the volcano. They climbed the volcano, encountering snow, boulders, and glaciers along the way, and discovered life thriving in the volcano's intense heat. It is said that these extreme species are among the rarest in the world and that they were found in a number of ice caves where soil microorganisms were thriving. 7. Ocean in the South In the year 2000, the Southern Ocean officially became the fifth ocean on Earth. It is the fourth largest ocean and completely encircles Antarctica. Together with the southern regions of the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans, it plays a crucial role in driving global ocean circulation. It's approximately twice the size of the United States and has a maximum depth of around 23,950 feet. It's possible that the key to absorbing carbon emissions lies in this mystery ocean. Researchers have determined that the Southern Ocean has taken in 15% of all human-caused carbon emissions. That's a lot, but it won't continue forever, and researchers are moving swiftly to figure out why. Those who choose to travel to Antarctica by ship will sail across the Southern Ocean, witnessing the raw strength of the sea from the ship's observation decks as they approach the Antarctic Peninsula for the first time. 6. Valleys of McMurdo Dry Ice When most people think of a desert, they picture hot, sandy plains. However, Antarctica is actually the largest desert on Earth. The average annual precipitation is less than 2 inches, and the climate is extremely windy. 99% of the continent is covered in ice. McMurdo Dry Valleys are located in the remaining 1%, and there you may discover enormous sand dunes that can be up to 230 feet in height and 656 feet in width. These dunes may not be good for sandboarding, but they are very significant to science. Because of their Martian-like climate, the dry valleys are of great interest to scientists looking for clues to extraterrestrial life. The dunes, however, are migrating at a worrying rate of about five feet every year. Scientists attribute this to climate change, which they say leads to the melting of ice and the erosion of sand dunes. Before the dunes disappear forever, scientists are racing to solve their riddles. 5. Fungi in Antarctica one endemic fungal species is among the many microbes and extremophiles found across Antarctica. This Antarctic fungus has adapted to the cold circumstances by feeding on the centuries-old wooden cabins left behind by the early explorers, despite the fact that fungi generally thrive in warm, forested settings. It has been revealed that a new species of fungi is feasting on petroleum seeping from gasoline containers abandoned by explorers. Scientists are interested in these unusual organisms because the fungus they produce may one day be utilized to clean up massive oil spills. 4. Harmful bacteria lies beneath. Microbes, living beneath the Antarctic ice and bacteria living in the ice itself, have both been discovered by scientists. Bacteria identified in ice samples are old, with some dating back as far as 420,000 years. However, 
Researchers are still unsure as to whether or not this represents a working ecosystem or simply disordered centers of life. It is also unclear to scientists if the ice just preserves the bacteria until the ice melts, or whether there are active microbial communities present within the ice. The question of whether or not these microorganisms pose a threat afterward arises. There's a good chance of that happening. Perhaps we are progressively unleashing Pandora's box by ignoring global warming. 3. Methane lurks below. Icy bubbles in Canada's Abraham Lake are reportedly mesmerizing. If so, have you ever pondered their nature or purpose? It's a form of frozen methane produced when microorganisms consume organic substances in water. Methane, a greenhouse gas even more dangerous than carbon dioxide, is aesthetically pleasing when frozen, but poses a major threat to human civilization. Large quantities of methane are currently trapped under Antarctic ice, but their release could be catastrophic if glaciers continue to melt. It's entirely up to us, after all. 2. Meteorites from long ago. Meteorites can be found in abundance in Antarctica. Even though meteorites can fall anywhere on Earth, they are more commonly discovered in Antarctica due to the dry, freezing climate. Since very few rocks actually grow naturally on the ice sheets of Antarctica, the dark meteorites are also easier to see on the bright white surface of the ice. Because the huge ice sheet in the East Antarctic has remained motionless for such an extended period of time, meteorite discoveries there are exceptionally fertile. This displays the much older ice as well as the enormous meteorite concentrations. Since 1976, scientists have gathered more than 20,000 meteorite samples from space. The largest meteorite recovered in East Antarctica in 25 years was discovered in 2013 by a team of Japanese and Belgian experts. The weight of the alien rock was astounding, coming in at a whopping 40 pounds. Over the course of 40 days, the team looked for meteorites and uncovered 425, totaling 165 pounds. A chunk of Vesta and a Martian meteorite were among the finds. 1. Lost City, Nazis, and Alien Invasion Antarctica has long been the subject of speculation and conspiracy theories due to its mysterious nature. Many individuals think that Antarctica formerly hosted, or currently houses, extraterrestrial life because of the presence of elongated skulls, weird pyramids, alien spaceships, bizarre constructions, and a massive staircase. Dozens of UFO sightings are reported each year, and Google Earth has caught what many believe to be alien activity. Keep your eyes alert for any strange green lights in the sky. This is prime territory for those seeking extraterrestrial intelligence. We know that hundreds of lakes lie dormant beneath the Antarctic ice. But what if there's more? Is it possible to envision a city buried beneath the Antarctic ice? Antarctica is still a mystery since no one has ever explored its depths. The legendary city of Atlantis is thought to lie frozen beneath kilometers of ice. People have speculated that the frozen continent holds the Atlantean capital. Since Antarctica was as warm as Los Angeles is now, and since it would have been an ideal location for a city, it is not unreasonable to assume that people once lived there. The last ice age, which froze the continent solid, put a halt to any civilization that may have developed there. Therefore, it is possible that some sort of society existed in Antarctica before the Ice Age, albeit whether or not it was the lost city of Atlantis is unknown. After the Ice Age buried the continent, the city would have been forgotten. However, it would have flourished when Antarctica was a balmy tropical zone. A civilization may have once flourished in Antarctica, but it has not been established that this was the location of the legendary lost city. Some have even speculated that Hitler himself escaped to a hidden hideout in Antarctica's subterranean regions after the war ended. Some others believe Hitler did not commit himself, but instead fled to Antarctica, where he oversaw the construction of a base from which Germans would launch lunar missions. Despite the urban legends to the contrary, the Germans did explore Antarctica and establish a secret outpost 960 kilometers from the North Pole. It's no surprise that Hitler explored Antarctica in pursuit of the fabled Spear of Destiny. Given his penchant for enigmas, he even sent an expedition to India and Tibet to find it. The Nazi base in Antarctica didn't last long. 
its people perished after eating poisoned polar bears 70 years ago. Despite the hypothesis being debunked, curiosity about Antarctica's hidden depths remains high. The Great White Continent is the planet's most mysterious and unexplained region, and despite the best efforts of scientists everywhere, we may never uncover all of its mysteries. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.